OMG chocolate swirl buns. These little babies are so delicious and they are very easy to make. They've got gooey chocolate, beautiful sweet bread dough, and they are super tasty. So, starts off in a bowl. I've got some plain flour. To that, we're adding some caster sugar, just for some sweetness. Unlike a bread dough, it has a little bit of sugar in there. We're also going in there with, what's this? Oh, I think it's just a pinch of salt. Let's go in with a pinch of salt. We also have some dried yeast, some active dried yeast going in. Give that all a good mix up, so it's nicely combined. And then you're gonna make a well. To that well, we're going to add our wet ingredients. So for our wet ingredients, I have some melted butter. I've melted it just so that it's nicely warmed through and it's melted down. And to that, we're gonna add in some milk. Now, the heat from the butter is enough to warm that milk through and help activate the yeast that's in our bread dough. So at this point, once that's nicely mixed through, it's a case of pouring your wet into your dry. I did forget, we need a little pinch of cardamom in here as well, and that will make all the difference. It will give you so much fragrance and really up and enhance your beautiful bread dough. So, time to add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients, and I'm just using a spatula at this point just to incorporate the flour into the wet ingredients. Okay, this is looking pretty good, so turn it on out. This is where it gets a little bit messy, but just have faith, it's gonna come together. And we're gonna knead this dough basically until it becomes a nice, smooth and elastic mixture. And if at all it gets a bit wet and a bit sticky, you can add a sprinkle of flour. You can see now that this dough has come together. And so at this point, you kinda of wanna shape it into a nice round ball. Have a look here because when you press down, it bounces back. And that's the point when you know that it is good to go and your yeast is doing its job. So, it now needs to rest in a bowl. A little bit of cling film over the top of this, but I do have one that has rested for 45 minutes. And this is what it looks like. And at this point, you get left with a dough that is ready to be punched down. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath after all that kneading. Um, so, at this point now, you need to punch it down. So stick with me. That is my favorite job in the kitchen. Once it's punched down, turn it out, and we're gonna split this dough in two. We did mention these were chocolate swirl buns. So for the filling, we need some butter, some sugar, and some chocolate. The sugar goes into the butter, and you do need to make sure that your butter is nice and soft. Using a wooden spoon, we're gonna cream the butter with the sugar until it's nice and spreadable. So once it's looking like that, set that aside, and we're gonna get rolling. This is looking pretty good. I have a nice rectangular shape here, and we're going to spread about half this butter mixture just across the base. So scrape that off, and then get spreading. Once you've spread that nice and evenly, it's time to grab up some chopped chocolate and just sprinkle that across. And this is where it gets chocolatey and delicious. Now, I have just filled this with some good quality dark chocolate, but you could fill it with so many different things. You could go in there with fruit, you could go in there with nuts, you could go in there with seeds, but who wants to add seeds when you've added chocolate? Anyway, once you have your filling done, press it down ever so slightly, and now transfer that other side of the dough right the way over. What you're looking for is a nice sandwich that's not gonna fall apart on you. So, we're looking for eight even pieces. I'm gonna cut it down the center and then we're gonna cut them down the center again. So once you have these strips, we're cutting little strips out of it. So stick with me. Essentially what we're creating is little shapes that kinda of look like a pair of trousers. And once you've got your pair of trousers, it's time to get twisting. Twist each little leg so that you have a kind of a, a twirl or a twist of chocolate. Wrap one around the top of the trousers and kind of pinch it together. And then twist the other leg over the top, just like that. Once you have a nice finish, stick it across, and you've got a beautiful chocolate bun ready for the oven. Right, last little bun, good to go. These now need to rest and rise for another 25 minutes, and when they've risen, we're gonna brush them with a little bit of egg, stick them in the oven to cook. This is what I'm talking about. Chocolate buns warm from the oven, beautiful golden color on the outside, and it's all about that chocolatey interior. Mm. We got chocolate, and actually it's quite nice with that bit of cardamom in the center. You've got really nice puffy dough. It's 
just so good. I mean, that is the perfect thing if you're having a naughty breakfast. I think it'd be pretty tasty. But as a really nice sweet treat with some coffee, it is so good. And of course, if you do like the look of these buns, leave me a comment in the box below letting me know if you're going to try them. I do have to tell you that I am also on Snapchat, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, the whole nine yards. So come and check me out. I'm always at Donald Skiin. I'll put that on the screen so you know what to click on. But until then, my friends, goodbye. Happy swirl making. These now need to rest completely. They're going to rest for about 30 minutes just until they've humped up. Humped up? That makes no sense. <laughs> humped up. Now, one thing you will notice as I roll this out is that I'm not using any flour. And the reason there, there is for that, that's not English. Let's try it in English. These are cut out. We have our nice little trouser shapes and you're not my camera, you're my camera. Hello. Just until they've doubled up in size and then they're going to be brushed with eggs and put in the oven. Not with all the eggs, just with one egg. And of course, if you do lo 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 look at these recipes, you'd like to... Let me try that one more time. <laughs>